knock on the door? Hi guys, so this is my next little project that I've been working on. Um, it's a remote control electric car. It's got a one kilowatt motor, so it's got heaps of grunt. Uh, can pull kids around fairly easily, as you can see. Um, and yeah, even pulls me along pretty well. Uh, so the, the body itself I bought online, it's a pedal car. And I put the electric motor in. Um, there's a fairly big size um, servo motor does the steering and Toby, that's enough. <laughs> I bought a, um, the motor as a kit for a bicycle and um, I thought I'd throw it in here but for, for small kids it's plenty of power, probably too much. I had to I had to program down the throttle curve so that it was so that it was manageable. So first up 
two batteries. Um, they're both 12 volt um, lead acid batteries. Uh, probably would have liked to go with lithium iron, but this is a lot cheaper. Um, they're 15 amp hour and they're connected in series, which uh, outputs in 24 volts. So the um, positive through the fuse, which at the moment that's a 40 amp fuse, goes to the main on switch. Um, so at any point I can... Uh, it's a 50 amp controller, um, so that fits nicely with the size of the motor. Um, so you can also, yeah, give it some braking and reversing inputs, uh, which is pretty helpful. So the the brake, for example, is this um, brake switch down here, feeds directly to the input on the on the controller, and you can you can brake. It actually has um, re regenerative braking. So well, when you put your foot on the brake, it it puts power back into the batteries. Um, same with reversing, so you can reverse it um, at this switch here, uh, just as an input directly to the, the motor controller. Uh, the throttle control uh, comes in through this uh, receiver, uh, that takes it from the remote control, uh, which speaks in a modulating pulse width language, uh, whereas the the motor controller speaks in a 0 to 4 volt or 0 to 5 volt I think um, input signal so I've got this um, little circuit board that I just got off eBay that converts the, the modulating pulse width into a 0 to 5 volt signal and that speeds uh, feeds to the, the speed control input on the controller but if I flick the switch to the other position then instead of reading that signal it reads a 0 to 5 volt signal from the from the throttle so here we've got the DC motor um, bought that from motion dynamics um, and then that's mounted to the the body with this bracket which I 3D printed 